Hi, it's the Money Guy, Adam Phillips, um, and I thought I'd do a very, very quick video following the collapse of Flybe, the airline, um, of course, and there's going to be a lot of people who have been affected by this, uh, and you'll find that there's uh, going to be a lot of problems moving forward in terms of getting home and getting to your place of leisure, work, play, whatever it's for. So uh, I just thought I'd quickly go through a couple of ways to try and get your money back if you are in that awful position. So the first thing to do is to just call um, Flyby directly and ask for a refund if you book directly through them. If you book through a travel agent and it's part of a package deal, then you should be at all protected, in which case uh, they should hopefully be able to either source another flight there or another, a source another flight home, or be able to uh, sort out some sort of um, refund for you. So that's the first thing to do. The second thing to do is a thing called a chargeback. So failing, uh, if you're not at all protected, and if Flybe are being uh, uncooperative and not paying you back straight away, you can do a thing called a chargeback. Now a chargeback is set up by uh, Visa, Amex, um, and MasterCard, and it's not a legal process, it's just part of their own processes. Uh, so if you go to your bank, uh, or Bill and Society, um, and assume you've paid by debit card, then of course you can start the proceedings of charge back. Uh, now there is a minimum amount of £10 for this um, and you normally only have 120 days to claim. Uh, however, that is slightly different if you uh, if it's for a flight, if an airline goes bust. So in which case the clock starts ticking the day the flight was due to take off. Uh, a charge back is a scheme that's um, set up and you can claim for it for all sorts of things. So things like um, technical issues, clerical issues, if there was fraud, uh, on your account, um, if the airline actually goes bust, um, if the goods don't turn up, uh, if the goods that you get is faulty or not matching the description of what you thought it was, um, then you can claim for those, I think that's six things. Um, so that's called chargeback. Now failing that, if chargeback doesn't work, hopefully you paid uh, at least one penny's worth uh, by credit card, in which case you will then be covered by the Consumer Credit Act, uh, which is under Section 75 of the Consumer Credit Act. Now, the, uh, this is a legal requirement, so you have a good success rate with this, but of course, if you haven't paid by credit card, unfortunately, you can't claim for this particular thing. So the chargeback will be the way forward, um, or trying to get something directly through Flybe itself or through your package, uh, your tour operator. So, um, Section 75, there are a couple of things. So first of all, if the flight is uh, less or the, the, than 100 pounds, then you may not be covered. Um, if it's over 100 pounds, then you're, you're quids in. Hopefully you can get your money back that way. If there are other things as well, so things like not just the directly the travel will be affected by other ways, hopefully you have ho uh, travel insurance already set up. Um, if you haven't got travel insurance just yet, unfortunately it's too late. You can't now go and set it up to then go make a claim. Uh, this is why I'm a big advocate of the day that you book your holiday, get your travel insurance sorted. Um, there's a part under your travel insurance, um, sec, uh, in your travel insurance, uh, it's called scheduled, uh, scheduled airline failure, scheduled airline failure, or uh, SAFES uh, for short, SAFI for short, sorry. So it's scheduled airline failure insurance. So. Not everyone will, will have this on their travel insurance documents themselves. If you're one of those people that like to get cheap travel insurance, then the likelihood is that you're not covered for it. Um, not always the case, of course. So the best thing to do is get your travel insurance documents, dig out that schedule and see if you're covered for it. Um, so hopefully you can claim through your insurance. So that's four ways of doing it. Ask them directly. If that fails, try for the chargeback scheme, uh, which is through your bank. Failing that, you can claim for your credit card, assuming you paid uh, even a penny on your credit card, but remember the ticket price has to be for at least 100 pounds, otherwise you may not be covered for it. And then failing that, you've got insurance as well. So those are the four ways. Good luck with, uh, with it all. Uh, let me know if you have any problems or if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Uh, there are templates online that you can get to help you through all of these things. Uh, and I'm more than happy to forward you those uh, templates if you need them. So good luck with it all. Um, apologies if you're now not going on holiday, but hopefully you can get home safely by just following, by doing one of those four things. So all the best and I'll speak to you very, very soon.